What's going on guys, Ryan here, and today I have for you another rant video, and as you can tell, it is about driving. And I'm not saying I'm the best driver, and I'm not saying I've had years of experience of driving. And to be honest, I'm a new driver, and uh, last Monday, well, this week's, like this last week, uh, was my birthday on the 9th. Um, so I got my license and I am now officially a licensed driver and I can drive pretty much anywhere I want to whenever I want to um, unless it's like super late at night or I mean early early in the morning and I can't drive anyone around except for my family and that's about it but um, I do have to say that I have had experience about a year experience a year's worth of experience of uh, driving and figuring out what to do and when to do it and what happens most of the time when you're driving. Some things are good, some things are bad, and some things are just, you know, whatever. Now the first issue that I have with driving is that you don't feel as fast as you really are. You feel like you're going probably like maybe 10 miles an hour when you're really actually going 55. And I mean, I live on a highway or next to a highway and when I go down that highway I don't really figure out that I'm going 55 until I'm actually going 55 and I'm like I'm only going 30 hmm that's so slow and another thing that it kind of deals with the same thing is when you're going super fast like 55 to 825 you're feeling like you're going like at a slug's pace that is super super duper slow and another thing is that you don't really know how fast you're going until you really look and you're like dang this isn't fast at all <laughs> like when i'm going on the on-ramp to the freeway i just hit it and right when i get to 70 i'm like okay this is kind of fast and when i first started driving i realized that that is pretty fast but now i'm like that's not really that fast. Like, I, it feels good, but, it, like, good as in, it feels good to be going fast, but it isn't, you know, whatever. You can't really tell how fast you're going until you really look. Another is when people pull out in front of you, or they go really slow in front of you, or, you know, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting for someone to pull into, you know, the, the where you are, you're, going, you're trying to go right, and they're going, they're going straight. But then all of a sudden, like 50 feet before they turn, they put their signal on, and you're like, wow, I could have gone. Now I can't go because there's someone behind you. Now, I do have to have, tell you a story. So yesterday, I took my grandma to the store to get some stuff. On our way out you know, out of the parking lot, there were at least, stop vibrating my phone, there was a, oh my gosh, sorry for that interruption, anyways, so I was sitting there and there was at least 50 cars just going and going and going, and there were, there were quite, there's many times where I could have gone, but I didn't want to go and speed up really fast just so I don't hit the other person behind me or they didn't they don't rear end me. But I was sitting there and I was realizing realizing that there's someone behind me waiting for me to go. And I I don't have enough experience saying, Hey, I hate it when someone is in front of me and they don't go and they could go many, many times. So I'm like, um you know, I'm so sorry for your inconvenience. I need to go now. <laughs> but after I went, right after I went, they went. And I, I just kind of felt bad. Another thing that doesn't really make me all that happy is when someone pulls out in front of you, and I don't have enough experience saying this, but when someone pulls out in front of you and they turn literally almost right after they go out in front of you like they there's an intersection or something they there you can turn like maybe 300 feet after that after they pulled out and then they leave like you couldn't wait just a fraction of a second, second longer so i can pass and then keep going and another thing i don't like is parking and um, parking i don't i wouldn't say i have a hard time parking but i would say i do have some troubles with parking 
Um, when I turn into the parking spot and it's to the left of me, I do good parking like that. I don't, I'm not good at turning right to park. I'm, I'm better turning left into the parking spot to park. I don't know why. But I park at school and I can tell you that I am very, very nervous to park next to a car and another car. And here's the parking spot. That's the only one open. I'm very nervous. I don't know why. I think it's because I don't want to hit their car and I don't want to get in trouble for doing it. But I just think... I can tell you, I do not practice parking enough. <laughs> I always park where my parents tell me to and they're like, Oh, you just park out here or park up in front where there's like a couple of spaces. So I'm like, okay, I will. But it's not really... I don't, I should, I need to practice, and that's one thing I need to do, but anyways, I get nervous, and I'm like, how am I supposed to do this? The other day, I had to park next to a car, and there's a space, and then there's a truck, so I'm like, okay, this is going to be easy. I was totally fine. I had the perfect parking job right when that happened, and I was like, yeah, that's easy. Um, pulling out, like backing out of a parking spot when there's two cars I've never had that happen to me there's always at least one spot open so I just I need to practice on that and um, this is getting to be a video of me telling me what I need to do <laughs> but I don't really like backing out of parking uh, parking spot or backing into one I don't know I feel like if someone watches me I get like nervous and then I get like shaky and then I'm like I don't know what I'm doing and I turn right to go left and I just yeah I don't know what I'm doing anyways another thing that I don't really like what happens is when I'm driving and then it's kind of foggy or it's kind of dark dark enough or foggy enough that you probably should put your lights on I have my lights on everyone has their lights on except for a few people and I'm like dude turn your lights on you need to see, I need to see you, you need to see me. Actually, you see me because I have my lights on, but I can't really see you because you don't have your lights on. That's your fault. Turn them on. Now, do it. Come on, let's go. You just have to go. That's it. That's all you have to do. I don't know how easy it could be, except for just a little easy. But they don't do it. I don't know. Another thing is when I have my sister in the car or my parents or something, and I'm like, I really want to flash my lights. And they're like, no, don't do it. I'm like, I won't do it. I said I want to, but I'm not going to because I know you're not supposed to do that. I realize that, but I just say it because I want to do it. Another thing that bothers me when I drive and my parents are in the car or my sister is in the car, they, not really my parents, but more like my sister, she critiques my driving so much. She's like, oh, don't forget to do that or do that. She's a backseat driver, especially when my parents are in their car. Like, oh, you turn left. No, 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 Ryan, go. And I'm like, just stop. Mom, tell me. You can see? Shut up. That's all. That's all. You know, like, don't talk when you're in the back. But um, I really feel like, hey, you know what? If I get advice... I should get it, you know, I, if someone, if I have a chance to get it, I should get it. Anyways, I feel like that's good enough for this video. If you like today's video, be sure to smack that like button as hard as you can. As hard as you would smack your sister, especially if she's backseat driving and telling you what to do. Anyways, if you haven't already, be sure to, s God, I was going to say it again. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it'll help me out a lot, and if you want you can check out all the social media links down below in the description to check me out don't stalk me but just check me out mm. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you I, I would act really weird or be like check me out yeah <laughs> anyways and I will see you guys all next time